Hi guys, Podmaster here, and today I'm going to be doing part two of the Funko Shop Package Roulette video that I did on Monday. Yeah, so today we're going to be opening up this package here from the Funko Shop, as well as the two other large ones that are over there. So, let's get started. Um, so, Alright everybody, so if you haven't watched Monday's video, I highly, highly recommend doing it because it would really help you understand what's going on today. So yeah, in that video what we did is that I had six Funko Shop packages I wanted to open up in a fun way. So I did kind of like a roulette thing where I picked, I did a random, you know, wheel generator thing. I had all six numbers and then a respin. And then I picked three of the boxes to open up then and then three I'm going to be opening up right now. So yeah, let's check out that video if you want to have more details about it. It was a really, really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed that if you've already seen it. I'll make sure to link it somewhere up here. But yeah, for now we're going to be start, starting with the this large Funko Shop box. It, it's only all of these are only one pop though. There's one in the other video that had I think three, and it's kind of funny. It actually says 12 piece pop on the side of this box, but obviously I, there's only one thing in here. And this is either a I think it's a 10 inch or a Pop Town. Either one of those two. All right, so here's what we got here. Here's the package, and a nice little thing of bubble wrap. And okay, it is a 10 inch. All right, let's get the package off the side. And then it comes in a, the 10 inch pump comes in a tape sorter instead of the regular ones where you kind of just open the flap. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cut it open. I gotta be very careful because I don't want to rip these, to uh, punch a hole in the box. I actually, remember one time a couple years ago, I got a two pack from the Funko shop and I actually poked a pen hole in the top. So that was kind of funny, but. Yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna take it out of the sorter. Okay, hope you guys can't see it. Okay, good. All right, ready? Oh man, this is awesome. Ready? Three, two, one. Ciao. Wow. Okay, I have, I'll be totally honest, I have no space for this, but I really needed this guy. So, there. this is the Funko Shop exclusive 10 inch chocolate. And this one came out as part of Funko's Halloween, I guess, release. It came out on Halloween. I was expecting something a little bit bigger from them, but hey, I'll take a 10 inch. Uh, this is my first town chocolate pop. I'm very excited about it. And then here, there, here he is, there's look at him here. It's a brand new mold as well. It's just him with the hands out instead of him with a cereal bowl. That's awesome. It's number 60 in the Ad Icons line. And then right there on the back, you can get great versions, uh, looks at rather at the uh, the three and three pack that actually came out last year on the Funko shop around Halloween. Yeah, and I, I missed out on that, but I really wanted to count chocolate pop, so now I have it. As I said, I really don't have any room for these, but you guys know me, I love my ad icons, so this was an absolute must. And what's even better is that on the back, there's actually there a little bit of the cereal. That's a great, great looking pop. I really like that one a lot. And that was box five, by the way, if you guys want to know. So let's get into the second of the large boxes right here. This is a Pop Town. It will go nicely with some other figures that I've had a chance to pick up recently. So yeah, so let's, let's check it out. Yeah, um, this is not, I don't say this is too popular for an item, but I really want it for myself. Okay, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, great. A bit smaller and lighter than the first one, I'll have to say, for sure. All right, so the bubble wrap out of here. Here is our Pop. All right, so unlike the other one, they actually did put this one in a nice sorter, so that's great. All right, let's check it out. Ready? This is it right here. Open it in three, two, one. Here, check it out so you guys can see it. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, yes. All right, this is the one next thing we got here, and this is the Funko Shop exclusive Alice Cranberry with the Crescent Moon Diner. This is, this is part of the brand new Peppermint Lane series, which is kind of Funko's original Christmas Christmas pops. It's not, you know, based on any other franchise. And it's basically a great thing to make kind of like a Funko Pop Christmas Town, which I'm, which I'm going to be doing in a video coming very, very soon because the holidays are coming up. Pop Town Christmas number two. And yeah, this, is, this actually completes my Peppermint Lane set because I got the GameStop one, the Frosty Franklin, in a different video. It's in some recent pop hunt. You guys can probably find it somewhere on the channel. And then I got some of the other Pop Towns and the other Pops during my birthday, which was actually, I think it was last, yeah, last week sometime. And yeah, I really needed this one. It finally here, and it, it also comes with the Funko Shop holiday sticker that they do with the 12 Days of Christmas. So that's even better. Um, I'll make sure to give you guys a close-up look at Alice right here, but yeah, this is her with the diner. And then on the back, here are the other four Pop Towns, or the three that I have. 
It's the Santa Claus, the Mayor, Patty Noble, and then the Frosty Franklin. So that's a great addition to my set. I, I'm really thinking about doing kind of my Funko Pop Christmas Village where I'll definitely have all the Peppermint Lane ones, but I'll also have some Star Wars ones. I have all these Star Wars holiday figures and then maybe a few Marvel ones as well. Maybe like the, Mar the Groot or the Rocket or something because those are the I love those two characters for sure. So, all right. Now that we got the big ones out of the way, we got one kind of Mr. You know, regular package. So let's check it out. And yeah, all right. I, again, I don't know what this, what could be in this, this one. It could be maybe a pop mist or something like that, or an icon. I don't really remember what I've ordered and what's come in yet, so it'll be a complete surprise to everyone. It's a white sorter. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is right set up. Three, two, one. All right, tell me, is it an ad icon or is it a myth? Oh, it's neither of the two. Oh, do I have a good story for this one? Wow, all right. Our final pop of the day is the Funko Shop exclusive Bat Boy. Now, it, although it might, it's, uh, uh, sorry, although it says Fantastic Plastic right there, it was, this was actually a result of a fan contest. So a few months ago, Funko had a really cool contest where you could, you, you the fans, could design your own Fantastic Plastic Funko Pop. And a lot of people submitted really good entries and then at Funko Fun Days this year, which is Funko's kind of yearly party that they have at San Diego Comic-Con, they chose the winner. And this is Bat Boy. Now, I'll read you a little story on the back. This was by a, designed by a person named Tanner Hedges. He lives in Orlando. And I'll tag his Instagram below so you guys can check him out. But here it says on the back, my inspiration for Bat Boy came from Finn Du Chomp, Salty, and Frank Von Wiener, as they're all animals or objects in the role or profession they would be associated with such as a surfer shark, a seagull sailor, and a hot dog diner waiter. I knew I wanted to go with a bat baseball player because the obvious play on words and I love the game itself. Baseball has always been an important part of my life, largely thanks to my late grandfather and the many memories I have of watching and discussing the game with him. Well, that, that's a really cool story, guys. And I'm so happy Funko did this to kind of give, you know, this regular people a say in what kind of pops get made. So I really wanted to support you know, Tanner and then this whole story and also to add to my Fantastic Plastic set. And it comes with this really special sticker on the side there, Fantastic Plastic Winner. Really great set and it'll go great with my baseball pops which are right over here. And yeah, so happy to have this in my collection. If you, you guys should really buy this pop just to support this kind of, these contests in the future that Funko may do. But yeah, that's all I got for you, for you guys today, guys. All I got for you today, guys. Um, I just want to mention one more thing before you go. So, since Halloween's over, I'm thinking about changing maybe this shelf right here because it has all the Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Actually, I might keep the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because it's arguably a Christmas movie, but I'm thinking about changing up the shelves a bit. So, maybe not the ones over here, but especially this shelf here with the Haunted Mansion ones. So, if there's a line or a group of pops you guys want to see on the shelves in the videos, please let me know. I'm more than uh, open to suggestions, but... Yeah, other than that, guys, this has been another episode of Pop Master, me completing the second half of my Funko Shop roulette video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.